Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, me and Alexander are right there, are here on the big pier and we're just drop shotting down the side of the wall just to see what we can get. I've already had a little whiting but I didn't have the camera all set up but now I've got the camera set up on the chest and we're just going to record straight from there. Uh, I've got me using my phone right now to do the intro and well, for pictures and if Alexander catches a fish I'll probably use my phone and then for me I'll just stick the GoPro on and we'll see what we get. But like I say, I've had a small whiting so far. Uh, the rig's basically, well, like I said, a little drop shot rig. Just a little weight, with a one little hook dangling off the end, and that's basically it. <laughs> with a little bit of squid strips on, that's all we're using. I have brought some little rubber plastic stuff, but it's still in my bag. Um, I might try that later on, if there's any pollock knocking about, but uh, so far, we've just had little whiting taps. So, we'll see how we get on. But we're going to catch a fish though, aren't we, Alex? Yep. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna rebait his his uh, hook up now, and we'll get back out there. See if we can get anything. Right, guys, I've literally just threw mine out, and I'm getting small taps now already. It isn't like a I don't know to be honest with you, because that could be just a crab straight away on it. But it's not an aggressive bite. See, that's why I'm saying it could be just a crab. But we'll leave it. I'm just gonna rebait his hook up now and throw his back out, and see if we can get a fish. As soon as he threw his guys, the bite on mine was getting a bit more aggressive, like I say, probably a crab. See? Oh, that could be a fish. That's definitely a fish, that one I think. Right, I'm gonna pick the rod up and see if I can feel it. Right, I've just I've just moved my bait a little bit just to see if that will entice a bite. Like little bits of movement could entice a fish to take it while it's moving. So like I say, that's resting up now. Uh, Alexander's is over there resting up now. Uh, the rod that I'm using, it's back to front like, but it's the my Abu Black Max ten footer. And then Alexander's is his brand new Pen Warfare. Uh, Combo setup, I'll show you that now. And there he is, guys. Look, it's brand new Pen Warfare spin kit gear. The one that I won on the giveaway and I give for him for Christmas. So it's got a 3000 size reel. Absolute fantastic looking reel for a the, for the kid that. <laughs> I wish I had that. And then, like I say, it's got a. How big is that rod again, Alexander? I don't know. It is. It is. A seven and a half footer and it throws a four to ten no ten to forty gram. So it's not a bad little rod for, to be honest with you for a kid to do his little scratching sort of fishing off the piers and this place fishing when it gets going. Have I got a bite? Yeah. Apparently Alex and this is I've got a bite. Oh there yeah. Oh 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 Let's see if, if he's on. Oh. 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 You're getting a bite as well? Yeah. Like pick it up like me and hold it in one hand, feel the tension on, on your hand, on your rod. And then as soon as you feel like it's it's the fish is pulling it away from you, just start railing. And give it maybe give it a little tug as well. No, mine's, mine's nothing. I think mine was just a crab, I think. Seems a bit heavy, might be crab still on. Oh, you snagged again. This actually feels pretty heavy. I think I've got a, a crab. Oh, yeah, oh no, is that a fish or a crab? Yeah, guys, I've got a dab. <laughs> I've got myself a dab. Look at this little dabby wabby. 
<laughs> That's why I, I, uh, I always seen the bite that was on. But yeah, a little, uh, wee little dab. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get this unhooked and put it back. I've just put the dab back, got back, and Alexander's pulled himself a little coal fish. Look at that. <laughs> right, we're gonna get some pictures taken with it, and uh, we'll go and put it back. Just hooked a nice side in the side of the mouth, look. Oh, there we go. Right, we're gonna take some pictures, guys. Right, guys, uh, I've just picked up my rod, and I've got something quite decent on here, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the bend in the rod there, but there's something that I was not expecting. There's no kicks or nothing, so it could be just a huge crab. But I'm just gonna reel it in nice and slowly, just in case it's a place. Because if it's a place, oh, there, oh, oh, it just fell off. It's literally just come off right there. But whatever that was, I think, it, I, I honestly, I think it was just a big crab. Because, like I said, if a place was gonna swallow that hook it's not it wasn't coming off well that was heavy and it wasn't there was no kick so i'm assuming just a big crab right guys as you can see <laughs> i'm into a fish and this one is a fish because i can feel it kicking this one just picked up the bait and started running and i didn't have to strike i just picked up the rod and went I was fi fixing Alexander's rod. Oh, look at the fight on that. I was fixing Alexander's rod. And then I just noticed my rod was almost off the pier. Uh, I apologize for the wind noise, if there is any. Ooh, I don't know what this fish is. It's fighting a lot. Ooh, 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 look at the fight on that. Ooh, hope you can see that, guys. Ooh, oh, it's got stuck. Oh, no, it's not, it's not. What is it? Oh, it's coming. Look at the size of that big callfish, guys. That is a monster callfish. Oh, it's just come off. Look at that monster callfish, guys. <laughs> Pound callfish. Beautiful fish. I don't need to unhook it because it's unhook unhooked itself. But that is a beautiful callfish, guys. Right, I'm just going to get some pictures and we'll go and release it. Right, guys, unfortunately, Alexander's rod is now out of use because we, I've run out of leads. I kept on getting into snags and snapping off, so now we've run out of leads so we've only got one rod out at the moment uh we've moved here behind this wall because as you can probably see in the horizon there all that rain is heading towards us so as soon as it hits us we're gonna pack up and go because we'll be there we don't want to get wet <laughs> but i'm hoping to in praying that actually that rain doesn't make it it is forecast to rain a little bit but by the looks of them clouds that doesn't look like a little bit so um just gonna fish until we can until basically yeah until we can really and then we're gonna pack up and go home but it's a nice little short video but like i said the, the video isn't over yet so stay tuned we're still gonna put some baits out we've still got some squid left pardon me <laughs> and um yeah we'll see what we can get right guys i apologize for the wind but uh alexander's because Alexander's rod's not working at the moment because he's got no leads uh, but I managed to hook a fish for him and he's bringing it in for me Stay there, bring the line, bring the rod to me. You reel at the same time. Bring the rod up so I can knock the head off. There we go, guys. The smallest. Oh, look how it's just hooked as well. That is the smallest dogfish I have ever caught. Oh, I've ever seen, I should say. I didn't catch it. 
Is it? Yeah. Well, it's going to be the last fish because I think that rain's coming now. I know, it's raining. There they are. Oh, my lead's actually gone as well, so it's a good job. Oh. There you are. You want to hold your first dog fish? Put, put my rod over there with yours. Yeah, I think I'm good because I'm No, you're fine. I'll show you how to, do, how to hold it. Just put my rod over there with yours. There's still a hook on the end of it. There's just no lead. <laughs> There's a little male dogfish, as you can tell, with the clasper there. Right, hold its head like that, and its tail like that, and you're fine. What are you doing? You don't have to use the same hands. <laughs> right, now grab hold of its head, it's quite strong, so keep hold of its head. You got it? Got it. Right, wait, I'll take a picture. <laughs> Still got a little bit of squid in its mouth. Oh, its eye looks so cool. <laughs> right, look at me. Here we are. Can you take a picture of my phone as well? Oh, I'll send it to you. <laughs> Your first ever dogfish? It's, uh, look Red, at its do, eye. Do you want to go and release it down the, down the ramp then? Because we're going now anyway. Okay, right guys, we're well, just going to get the rods and we're going to walk down and release it. We're on our way to put it down the ramp now. Oh no, it's looking like that. You're fine. We're just going to go down this ramp. We're not going to go all the way down the ramp guys, as you can see, because it's quite... Uh, full of seaweed, so I don't want Alexander to fall down the ramp. Oh, that's good, yeah, that's a comment. I know well and truly what they are. <laughs> if anybody knows the video, you know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Alexander, don't go all the way down, alright? Because, like I said, it's quite slippy. Yeah, it's where that green stuff starts. Right here, right here will do. Red. Okay, release it. And there he goes. Ouchie. Spot on? Happy? Yeah, very. <laughs> good, good. Right, guys, that's the end of today's video. Alexander's caught his first, the first ever dogfish. Have you ever caught a coli before as well? I think I did the last time with one. I think, uh, so, yeah, he's had, he's had a coli. He's had a dogfish now. Yeah, we saw it, and I had that big coli when he was in here. <laughs> um, he, he wanted off to go and get some food. And uh, yeah, I, I think we've had a, a decent day, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's, it's miles away. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the, uh, the, the, the everyone subscribing. I appreciate everyone liking the videos, and I appreciate every single one that shares the videos as well because they help a lot. So again, thank you very much from me and Alexander. And we'll see you next time. Else fishing adventures. See you later.